Final practice before the 8 day game on Saturday. We're going to take a look at the defense, what we saw when they were on the field on Tuesday, some of the playmakers there. We're going to talk a little bit of basketball. Yeah, we got a guy transferring out, but you know we've got a lot of talent coming in as well. And steak and beans. Yep, still going to be steak for the winners and beans for the losers. All that right here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That's a great way of saying Roll Tide. And let's get this party started. Here's your invitation, everybody. Roll Tide. And a hearty roll tide wherever you might be watching us. Get in that comment section and tell us where in the world you are as we talk Alabama football because we know it's an international brand and you guys are coming at us from all over the globe. And I want to introduce you to my partner here. He's known as Brett Elmore or Big Sexy Elmo. You guys know him from WJLX Radio and Jasper, host of the Brett Elmore Show. Roll Tide, Mick. How are you? I'm doing great. Good, 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 good. It's a, uh, I, 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 I like the shirt. I see you repping the shirt. Um, I hope you made it through yesterday's storms okay. Uh, did you take the boat out? Today is actually <laughs> National Submarine Day, and that's fitting. <laughs> yeah, I, I was joking with some people down here in uh, South Alabama, L.A., Lower Alabama. Uh, in the midst of that storm, I'm like, hey, anybody want to go fishing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, it, do it right from your back porch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't take the causeway. Nah, uh, nah. Despite that was a what, ter terrible idea yesterday. Yeah, there's a Fairhope Brewery beer called Take the Causeway. Yesterday, don't take the causeway, or you'll be underwater. And you know, hopefully, everyone that got flooded out on the causeway is doing okay. Yes, absolutely. Uh, well, let's so, talk. What's that? So, what's on the docket today? Football, football, and a little bit of basketball. But That's today good. is the final scrimmage. Now, I don't know what we're going to do. I guess really transfer portal is going to be all the news next week. But today's yeah. the final practice for Alabama. And then Saturday, obviously, is the spring game. So, it all comes down to this. A lot of fun. Yesterday, we talked offense. Today, let's talk some defense, and I think it starts with Malachi Moore. He didn't transfer out. He stuck around. He's moving to safety full-time with this defense, and when all those guys were you know, taking NIL money to go to our biggest competition, right, when they were transferring to go to Ole Miss, Auburn, Georgia, Ohio State, Malachi Moore was one of the guys along with Deontay Lawson, who were like, nope, we're staying. And now I feel like he's one of the most integral parts of this defense. Well, definitely one of the most experienced as uh, he has played for over 2,330 snaps. Uh, so definitely wow. one of the most experienced guys on the team. And, and you know, um, he's been there four years and he's, He's played that role before. He started 33 games for the Tide. I mean, he's used to it. Um, so this transition uh, back to safety um, obviously has taken a little bit of time to get used to, I'm sure, for him. But that's what spring ball is for, Mick. Yeah, and that's what the fun of it is this particular year because we're getting a new look, a new a new coach. You know, all new coaches, really, for the most part, uh, a new offense, new defense. I mean, so there's so many different things that we're kind of getting an eye on. Uh, Kane Womack in this defense, and we're going to kind of go through it, uh, you know, switching things. But, you know, the and, and I they're still going to be good on defense. We're going to talk about the strength. Let's just go right into the strength of this defense. I feel like, Brett, the strength of this defense, linebackers, right? Campbell. Yeah. Jefferson, Lawson, 
I like all three of these guys to contribute. And uh, honestly, we saw Campbell last year, big part of the defense. And obviously the biggest thing for Deontay Lawson has just been staying healthy, but he's a good one too. Yeah. Uh, a lot of those guys getting some of the first reps and yeah, that's probably going to be the strong suit of the team. You know, we were talking about um, uh, the secondary uh, just uh, a, a minute ago about Malachi Moore and really that new defense that uh, Womack brings in, uh, you know, it's been called that swarming style defense, but um, that secondary and, and that position group alone there as in the DBs, that's kind of been the strong suit of Womack's uh, defenses. Um, he, um, uh, you know, that, that group of, of, of guys have finished, you know, in this defense, um, you know, like first or second in tackles most of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but normally when you get it to the secondary, you're like, you're, you know. Like, right. Caleb Downs making all the tackles last year was a little concerning, right? Right. And, and but, the, you know, the thing, thing about that, too, is you, we've talked about it. We think that 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 DB group probably may be the, the weak link. Uh, they're going to have to grow up quick, but the linebacking core, I think you're right. It's probably going to be the strong suit of this defense. Yeah. I mean, like I, I, I feel comfortable there. Um, and we're not going to really get into the defensive front today, but you know, we're, we're just going to kind of talk about the strength and the biggest weakness. I think they're kind of in the middle, but you know, here's this wolf position. One of the new positions on the defense, uh, Darius Robinson, this guy you're hearing about. Uh, Keanu Colt is someone that people keep talking about, right? And Quay Russo, uh, you know, big time recruit coming in, but Colt's the name that keeps popping. I, I can't wait to see what he's going to look like on Saturday. Yeah, and this past Saturday um, during the scrimmage, those guys were taking the number one rep. So Colt, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. Uh, I like the, the, I've never really gotten the name of all these positions. The wolf, I like that. And um, it's, wolf and it's husky, good. wolf and husky. Uh, that that all seems to go back to Washington. Star it used to be star and money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind of like those a little better. But anyway, money, uh, money grip is that you? Is that your other nickname? Money yeah, grip. Yeah, b- big money, Brett. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, huh. the wolf position, I guess. Mick, it'll Money be time Mick. for us to see who leads the pack right here. Oh, yeah. The wolf yeah. pack. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Right here. Da, da, right da, 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 da. Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Yeah. Great baby. wolf pack. So, yeah, I, I feel comfortable there. This is the group that really makes me nervous. And it's just because of the inexperience in this group. Now, I would not be surprised if. They don't get some help from the transfer portal before it's all said and done. But Damani Jackson, you know, he was the guy that transferred from USC. He's got talent as a five-star recruit, but, you know, wasn't fantastic last year. But the defense wasn't, so I'm not putting that on him. Zabian Brown, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's a true freshman. Malachi Moore, we just talked about him. And uh, Keon Sab, who transferred from Michigan. So, Safety wise, I feel like we're eight, we're going to make up for the guys we lost. Cornerback, a lot of inexperience, but talent. And then Devonte Smith, who was injured and came back at the end of last year in that Husky spot, I think Smithy's going to be a good player. Yeah, I do too. Uh, Brown is a true freshman. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, you know, so that's kind of concerning a little bit. And and uh, don't forget about Zay Mincy. Oh yeah, uh, he um, he's a freshman corner and i think um, he was banged up uh at that practice yeah he was he 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 left with the trainer but he he's he'll probably be all right but uh be be interesting to see that secondary group there at a day on saturday yeah very interesting all right so that's a look kind of a look at what we feel like linebackers will be a strength secondary obviously has a lot of work to do we would think but then um, this game's on Saturday, Monday, I think, right? Monday the 15th, the transfer portal opens. So it's going to be really interesting to see what Alabama does, who leaves, who stays, if anyone leaves, if anyone 
you know, anyone, uh, if anyone leaves or they bring anyone in, I mean, I, I just think that they're going to look at this roster where they need some help and they're going to go out and get it. We could have some guys leave who uh, came in with very high expectations and big names. So we'll find out how that all looks. I, I'm still kind of puzzled about the whole Parker Brailsford situation, but um, it doesn't sound like he's going anywhere. I think that's a good thing. He was uh, offensive lineman, maybe the the top guy that Alabama got in the transfer portal as a center. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll keep an eye on it, but don't be shocked either way when Monday comes when guys leave or guys start coming in. Now, Brett, you and I talked about this. I'm a big steak guy. I had that yesterday for dinner. You love beans. Um, so if we had a football game, there wouldn't be anything to play for. Right. That's right. Um, because I would definitely not want the steak. I would definitely want the beans. <laughs> How would you uh, – what uh, are, are these baked beans? What, are they pinto? Uh, what are they? Are they baked beans or pinto beans or butter beans? Butter bean, like the uh, Jasper legend, butter. Bean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, do you? Um, what is your favorite bean? Yeah, you know what? That's a good one. Um, Stephanie's dad always would do these. Uh, like they would do a campfire and they would do butter beans on the campfire. They're really wow. good. Yeah. Um, I like. Honestly, like chili beans, you know, and ch beans and chili is always really good. I, I like chili beans. Um, green beans. Like, lima be beans are my favorite, though. Lima beans. Lima beans. Yeah, lima beans are good. Uh, you like the 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 bacon in your baked beans? Oh, yeah. I, do, I like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A any extra, I want. Yeah. Which is, yeah. you know, which is why I battle weight all the time because I, yeah. I, I'll i take the extra. Like, you put, put butter in there, I'll put it in there. You know, yeah, you, just throw it in there. I mean, it's like sauce? a big gun. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, uh, yeah, Mick, I, can you? Tell you, I, I can tell you have uh, definitely struggled with your weight. Uh, <laughs> Trust uh, me. I, I, I too uh, have that problem. Uh, maybe we'll share notes one day. Um, <laughs> but but uh, anyway, uh, uh, you know, the steak uh, would be good. Yeah. Uh, how do you like your steak? You like it a little. Uh, uh, medium you like it rare what do you oh like man it? i'm i'm medium rare man you know yeah. I, i've got a i want it crispy on the outside and pink on the inside with a lot of flavor That's, right right i understand uh i understand so uh steak and beans coming up what what are, you didn't tell me your beans what are, what are your favorite beans uh you know lima beans since you mentioned that i hadn't had lima beans in a while those are good when they're i like them when they're uh, they're they're not cooked so much that they're soft. Mm -hmm. I like them when they're cooked enough where they're crunchy. You know what I mean? Like they're cooked, but they have like that little bit of like crunch to them. You know? Wow, you like you that. you are definitely strange. Um, <laughs> um, uh, no, um, man, you that that threw me off. I had something good I was going to say. Oh, um, <laughs> excuse me. Um. My favorite being, I like those. Uh, they become popular here uh, as of late. Um, they're 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 these. Re I don't know if you've ever seen them down in Fairhope, but they're these really long green beans. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen them? Like snap peas or something? No, they're 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 like this long and and they're they're they're. Every time I go to a fancy restaurant, I say, give me some of those really long green beans that you have on the menu. Oh, I and have seen those. Yeah, they have them at steak restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really long. And for some reason, these people call it asparagus. And I don't know what that <laughs> is. Uh, but, but those really long green beans, I mean, those are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. How do you get uh, your steak? Uh, Medium, yeah. Medium. Okay, so yeah. you like it cooked more than I do. Yeah. Um, well, we're, the winner, there's, they're keeping that tradition, fourth quarter program. They're keeping that tradition. DeBoer's done a fantastic job of not coming in and gutting the, it, basically the things that the players like about Alabama football. And I, and I appreciate that. So it's going to be too. steak for the winners, beans for the losers on Saturday in the eight, eight game, which is, uh, you know, kind of a tradition as well. Yeah, and I heard Roll Tide Willie was fixing the beans, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you just made that up. Oh, yeah. 
You, you, and you and Roll Tide Willie, I got to get you guys together. Because you imagine like Jeff coming through, coming through the line, and there's Roll Tide Willie serving up baked beans. <laughs> Here you go. You're gonna need a little more. <laughs> blitz, bam, a blitz. Blip, bam, a blitz. If y'all blitz a little harder, you'd get steak. Yeah, yeah. I would love that. I think the guys would love that. All right. Uh, subtraction. Alabama oh. basketball. Chris yeah. Parker, a guard, hitting the portal. Yeah, first first one to hit the portal. Uh, and, uh, you know, like we said with football, it's a two-way street. Um, Bama will get some guys in. Well, probably may, we'll have guys transfer out in football and basketball. It's just the way the name of the game is. But did you see where Bama finished third in the final AP poll? Yeah, and I think they should have. You know, uh, I I, th- I do think that they were solidly the third best team in the country. And yeah, uh, if hey, let me uh, let me tell you something. If if we would have beaten UConn, and I, I said it on this program, I think that uh, that Bama UConn game was a national championship game. If did. we would have beaten UConn, I think we would have beaten Purdue. Yeah, and you know, looking back at it now, as hot as we were playing, and yeah, the way that they stood toe to toe with UConn for most yeah. of the game, you know, until the end, and no one else really looked like that, did that? Yeah, I I loved it, you know, yeah. and and win loss wise, that there's they didn't match because they lost a lot of games. But when you look at where the teams were when it was all said and done, they easily the number three team. So a great yeah. way to finish the season. That's got to be. <clears throat> the best finish that Alabama's ever had. I, I'm guessing yeah. in, by far, right? I mean, there's they've probably never so. been close to finishing the season no. at number three. Oh, well, I don't think so. Uh, maybe 70, what was it, 76, they had a great team, but they ran into Indiana who went undefeated uh, and lost in the tournament, maybe in the Sweet 16, and then and they were like kind of Indiana's toughest game. So I guess maybe there, but – I'm not a I'm not as much of a basketball historian as I am football for say, but um, congratulations to them. I know they don't want to end up number three; they want to end up number one. But at the same time, I feel like the program has taken a big step forward, and I'm surprised a guy like Chris Parker's leaving. But I don't know if it's, hey, we're bringing in new guys, and yeah. you know, you may want to go somewhere else type thing, or if he's just like, hey, I you know, I, I feel like I'm gonna. He's looking around at the competition, or maybe he's a really good player, and he's like, "I, I, I I'm going to go somewhere else and you know cash in on the NIL money." Yeah. Because the other part of it is, it feels like these guys. It feels like basketballs become uh, one year like rec league teams where you yeah. just go back and evaluate who's going to pay you the most and just go there. Yeah, you're right. Um, a day this weekend. Uh, have we got anything else on the on the docket? Yeah, yeah. Pop it up there because um, w- let's go through the schedule of events here, and um, I'm gonna put the steak and beans back up there again just for the uh, a day game. But run us through the schedule because not only football, but it's, a bunch of other stuff going on. Yeah, it's a it's a huge sports weekend uh, starting tomorrow. You got to. Uh, Men's tennis uh, going to be at home. That's a free event. You got baseball at the Joe against Arkansas at six. And then Saturday, uh, everything kind of cranks up early in the morning. Uh, I got the uh, softball against Texas A&M there at Rhodes. Uh, 11.30 start time there. The gates will open up at the stadium at noon. They'll have the alumni flag football game at 12.30. Nice. Uh, uh, the Walk of Fame at one, Walk of Champions at uh, one fifty, and then we'll kick this baby off at three. But then, like I say, stay around because uh, game number uh, uh, two of the series with Arkansas will uh, start at the Joe at five o'clock. Uh, so you can mosey over there, and then uh, Sunday, uh, Al- Alabama baseball and softball and tennis will be in action on campus. So. It's a big weekend. It's going to be beautiful. I've looked at the uh, weather forecast. You're not going to you're not going to ask for a better weekend um, weather wise. So there's no excuse for you not to if you're in the area to get out and uh, support uh, uh, the athletic programs there at Alabama, especially our beloved football team. Do you like going to those games? Or are you a, are you a fan of softball or baseball? Yeah, yeah, I am. Going to yeah. the games. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been to. Uh, I haven't been to a softball game yet. I've been offered tickets uh, before, 
uh, I love watching the girls play. Um, the uh, uh, baseball, of course, I've, I've been to a couple of games there uh, in the past, but I haven't been in a long time. But like I say, um, I I really enjoy it, and it's uh, going to be a great weekend for for all 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 the sports. Okay, yeah, I'm with you on that. Uh, here it is, right here, Brett. Promo code Bama Tailgate. Beautiful Daniel Moore print, fourth and thirty-one. It's uh, Jalen Milrow stunning Auburn with uh, basically a hail mary. It wasn't really a hail mary, but uh, our friend Jelly Roll would say, "Yeah, it, it felt like uh, a hail mary." You know, as far oh, as uh, just just like you draw it up, Mick. Just like you draw it up. <laughs> so. There you go. Uh, but they're they're right in the midst of production right now. They're gonna you can act physically get it in the next week or so, if not already. So wow, uh, check it out. Newlifeart.com promo code Bama Tailgate. I appreciate all of you guys that have used that promo code and uh, keep on using it. And it's it's always great to see what you guys are buying and the fact that you thought about us when you did do it and pimped out your man cave. And I and I talked about it yesterday. Uh, adding, adding this one right here to the collection, the Antoine Petway, uh, the put away to the collection meant this meant a, 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 you know, a great deal to me. And I've actually gone back and watched the play on YouTube just to see if I can pick myself out in the crowd. I, I, I know where I was sitting because I was sitting in the front row, but the the video is so grainy <laughs> and I'm so much younger. <laughs> you got to go back and watch it. And that, that moment right there, watching all those sad faces, Brett, yeah. the long, the long faces. The, why the long face? Because we just destroyed <laughs> your hopes and dreams. Because <laughs> <laughs> we did that to you. Yeah, we just did that to you. Uh, all right. Final thing is uh, you. What you got going on? WJLX right here. Boom. Look at that. Uh, be on the air six till 10 weekday mornings. Tune in WJLX1015.com. Of course, you can get us on all the streaming apps. Um, and if you're in the uh, Jasper area, 1015 FM, uh, North, North Central Alabama, 1025 HD3. We got to do some giveaways, man. This, this T right here is awesome. And you got some of those. You got a Frisbee. Um, you've got koozies. koozies, you got all kind of stuff. So we'll, 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 figure we, that yeah, out uh, we need to, uh, we need to do a big, uh, Bama tailgate giveaway is what we need to do. So let's, uh, let's figure something out. We'll do it. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us again. Like subscribe, uh, hit the bell. So you know, when we're live or dropping new content and, uh, have a great day. And again, tell us where you're where you're from. I want a list of everybody where you're from watching the show. You know, we'll That's have, right. you know, who knows, maybe three or four thousand people that'll watch. Be great to know like where everyone is at. And I, I love hearing from you guys. I know Brett does too. Even if it's you saying, Brett, we love Roll Tide Willie. I That's love right. Roll Tide Willie. Roll Tide. I love Roll Tide Willie. I, everything's fine. You know, me and him, we're. 